Hello guys, welcome back to another video and today I am going to be going on a run and 106 is the temperature right now and I don't know about you but that is hot. Even though it's pretty warm, I'm not letting temperature stop me. I'm just gonna go for it. First stop this way. <laughs> this audio is going to be very intermixed with a ton of footsteps <sighs> and me breathing. <laughs> Like that. Going down to the dry riverbed here. Check that out. It's not actually too, not all too dry after all. Check it out a little bit. Left side looks a little more traversable. So go this way. Be careful not to fall in that nasty water. That was dangerous. That was almost bad. It's not looking like we're going to be able to go over that way. Oh boy. Oh, I just got, oh, that's nice. Oh, I just got mud all over my camera. I'm just holding on to this right this has gone so so fast this went from a run to a almost falling into water yikes I gotta clean you guys off real quick you know some may say i just made a big oopsie and uh, i would tend to agree but um it's fine <laughs> well back on our journey we're gonna go this way <laughs> really unstable vlog here and uh, hopefully get something out of this if not um if nothing else don't go on mud just don't it may look like you can pass, but you'll, you'll almost fall in. You'll almost fall in. You know what? I, have, I just have to show you guys this tree. Look at that behemoth. Look at that guy. Oh, there we go. Check that out, guys. If there's any tree that looks like there's going to be some vultures in it, that is the tree right there. That is the tree. That's a nice incline right there. I got some shade here, which is nice. Wait a minute, what's this? A swing? <gasps> Wait here, thumbnail for you. This is so funny. <laughs> Ever wondered how you do a YouTube thumbnail? Open up your mouth really wide, have some teeth in it like that, and you go, just like unhinge your jaw. Works every time. Mostly just wanna assess my surroundings before deciding to go further. Cause uh, if you couldn't tell, this is what I'm dealing with. Long stretch of no shade. But if I stay to the left, I can get some trees. I guess I gotta send it. <laughs> oh yeah. That's the stuff right there. Get that epic parkour right there. That's pretty good. Maybe you're smiling at your screen right now. You're like, you just jumped over a log? Wow. Well, you're probably like, okay, easy. Any day, bro. Any day I can do that. But can you jump over a log of this magnitude? Bet you can't. That's, that's a really big log right there. Man, I've got so many weeds in my sock. Someone make me weed proof sock. I need them like yesterday. All right, jokes aside, let's continue on. Let's turn into an epic journey. Do do do. Ba da da da. Do do do. Okay. Or maybe I can. Ba da 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 da. Ba da da do 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 do. Ba da do. Ba da ba. Da 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 do 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 do. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? Hey look, there's the tree. There it is. I'll figure this out at some point. One day I'll figure it out. Maybe weed proof socks will be figured out as well. That would be a great day for my socks. Stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. <laughs> Let's go. Are you ready for your daily dose of insanity watching me slowly dissolve into insanity yeah you know i had something to say and i forgot it i feel like that happens to me a lot anyone else relate to that oh no sunscreen oh my eye oh the dilemma of trying to film and not die at the same time what a struggle whole point of this challenge is getting outside my comfort zone so i should you know probably say something encouraging about that yeah that's that's my encouraging encouragement there you go Give you some encouragement. I have found somewhere to actually kind of shorten my route and get some more shade. Yeah, I'm actually gonna give you some motivation now. Pretty much what I'm trying to show you guys with this challenge here is doing hard things is not always glamorous. Sometimes you're trudging through weeds. Sometimes you bring some weeds with you. Keep some memories of the past, you know, memoirs. Real nice and prickly. Some of them harmless, some of them really stab into you, huh? You know, past can hurt, but you can always choose, stop for a second, deal with it. Pick out the past. Maybe it takes you a little longer than anticipated, but in the end, you'll come out stronger. Person who, it's a little tidbit there. Pretty good analogy, I'd say. Some people let the past really eat at them, prick them hard. Some people let it stay with them. Maybe it stabs you in the foot. Nice big old weed. 
Well, just like you do when you want to run, you gotta pick the weeds. Then you can keep trudging on. Maybe more weeds, but you can keep on dealing with it. Trudge through it. Overcome the past. Pick up the pace. And other times, maybe it's better to slow down. Take in the view. Even the fact that you're able to beat yourself up like this. Maybe go on a run, work out, whatever difficult thing there is for you to do. Starting a business, taking some kind of leap of faith of any kind, which is sort of what I'm trying to do with this YouTube thing. It's hard. Sometimes people don't really believe in you, but you gotta keep going, you know. One day it'll work out. It's important to keep your own, stay your course. Maybe you, you need to make adjustments. It can be difficult to, um, sometimes it can be difficult to move on from things of the past. I get that. But, uh, one thing to remember is the other person who may have harmed you in some way, said something mean, maybe done something to you, they aren't paying attention to it anymore. It's just you, it's in the mind. If you let it control you, keep on thinking about it, who's the one who's really winning in that scenario, right? Let me tell you, it ain't you, it's them. It's best not to worry too much about the past because you can forgive others, forgive yourself for maybe making mistakes, saying something stupid. Maybe you've even gone on a run yourself and you were like, set your goal way up here, thought you were gonna make it, thought you were gonna go a whole seven miles without shade. But uh, maybe you ended up being a little like me. Changed course. You decide, maybe what I wanted to do wasn't all that. Well, you still got time to change. Still living. As long as you're still, still living, still a chance for you. Once you get through the weeds, get to the other side, you'll be stronger for it maybe. Just maybe. Hoping you're getting some stuff from this. Speaking more from the heart. So hope you're kind of enjoying this a bit. I know it's maybe you feel like you got clickbaited because I'm actually stopping and stuff. But um, on the second thought, I got a bit of something to deal with with these weeds here. That bird just scared me so much. If you can even see that. <laughs> I feel like it's going to be a running theme of me just having terrible lighting in these vlogs. There we go. That's better lighting, kind of. Now well on our way. <laughs> Nearly back. Remember this? Oh yeah. That's a nice b-roll. Professional b-roll. It's probably shaky. <laughs> it's really shaky, I bet. We are almost back, so just a little bit longer. It's the final stretch. Alrighty. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to let me know down below if you liked the more off-the-cuff motivation and also check out the other videos in this series and embrace the uncomfortable situations now and regret never.